you know, there's one that, that was in The Economist, I think it was a Pew poll that showed oh, yeah. that one in four people, I mean, ex-Muslims in North America actually made a bill, yeah. billboard based on that, that one in four people in the United States uh, raised Muslim but also are in the Arab world, Islam. too. Now, in the, yeah, in the Arab world, you know, the people yeah. who are identifying as non-religious went up from 8% to, I think, 13% 13. now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, I mean, the, the whole thing is... Uh, it, 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 this is growing in a sort of exponential way. I mean, we see it anecdotally as well, but you know, now the polling is kind of bearing out mm -hmm. the numbers and what we've been what we've been seeing. So, I think yeah. ISIS helped a lot with that too. Yeah, <laughs> no ISIS, the Muslim parents who are protesting at the Birmingham schools, like these yeah. these kinds of images. Yeah, they they yeah. did help a lot. Yeah, because like after nine eleven, that was the thing that really shook my faith. Where I, I was like. Do I want to identify with with these with with the same ideology of these murderers? Do I want to be connected to these men in any way? Like, mm -hmm. it, it really makes you start to question the ideology more. Like, you're not just living your life as a cultural Muslim and not really paying attention. These are my this people. Think, like, wow, this is my community. Are... I'm a part of this. Mm -hmm. And people are noticed. The people were seeing that with ISIS. Like we talked earlier about how Muslims they never read the Quran. They never read anything. They don't know. They're just living their lives. But when they see what ISIS is doing and then they're like, what the hell? How, do, how are they Muslim and doing that? That doesn't make any sense. But then they get the counter argument says, well, did you look at the prophet's life? Did you see what he did? They're basically copying him. They're following the same footsteps. And then they start doing their homework. And then it's like this moment of like, holy shit. <laughs> Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.